Hi everybody, welcome back to the Hard Reset Info channel. Today I'm going to tell you how you can easily fix that your Samsung Galaxy A17 feels slow or lags. So actually it's a very common issue with the Samsung mid-rangers. Although the A17 is quite new, so it shouldn't, um, had, it shouldn't have the performance issues. So at first, what I do recommend to close background applications. So, if you have dressers enabled like I do, hold it the up and here, if you have some applications used recently, just clean them, just like that, here, and click close all. The same if you, if you have buttons, here you'll see the button or here, the square button, tap that and you'll save, you will have the same view as I do like now. Apart from that, you can go straight to the settings, then you may go to the battery and device care, which is here. Wait a moment, it's digital con device care, here is device care. And now you can go straight to the performance and auto optimization, enable that here. And apart from that, go straight to the memory here and clean up your memory here to free up RAM. As you can see, I do have here 600 megabytes, even though I don't have any applications running right now. So it's a very, very good uh, score actually. And apart from that, we can disable the animations in our phone. As you can see, our phone is running smoothly right now, without any lags, but it can feel smoother when we have our animations disabled. So I'll first scroll all the way down to the About Phone section and enable the developer options. To do so, scroll to the um, software information and tap the build number seven times. Here you'll see the alert, you are a developer now. Go back, go back again, and tap developer options. Here in developer options, you can scroll to the animation drawing. It should be somewhere in these settings. HD audio we do have here, some showing. And here, as I can see, we have window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale you can set this free to the either animation of or animation scale 0.5 it will make the phone run less animations or just make them faster and it feels a lot of smoother actually as you can see and it's very very nice and apart from that you can uninstall the bloatware or the unused applications. I know that this uh, phone is quite new, so you won't have the unused applications yet. But uh, as you can see, <laughs> our phone has a lot of principal applications. As you can see here, we have Spotify, Instagram, YouTube. I don't know if you use that actually. Here we have some Microsoft even applications, Copilot, OneDrive, LinkedIn, Outlook. Uninstall all these unnecessary applications. Here, as you can see, we do have even games. <laughs> Hold the finger on each application, tap select, and select all the applications you want to delete. So, for example, uh, these three applications, let's uninstall this Microsoft uh, here <laughs> folder, which is totally unnecessary. And after selecting all this bloatware, of course, you may need YouTube, Snapchat, Spotify, etc. But after uninstalling all the bloatware, tap uninstall button here. And on each application, you have to tap OK at the bottom of the screen. In some applications, you have to uh, wait a moment because uh, we have to wait until these applications are waiting for the, this gate actually of uninstalling. And yeah, that's how to uninstall the uninstall applications or bloatware. As you can see, Microsoft applications has to stay with us, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know why, but it has to be here. Uh, if uh, and uh, if you can't uh, uninstall this application, go to settings and go straight to the applications list 
here in the settings. We can just disable these applications. So go to apps here and now find your applications, which are the Microsoft applications. So we can search as you can see Microsoft, maybe Copilot, it will be a better idea. M365 Copilot, tap that, tap force stop and OK. And as you can see, these applications can be uninstalled, maybe. But then I had some issue. So just try, try to get rid of these unnecessary applications. And apart from that, you can try to update the software. Uh, I don't, I know that this phone is new, so it will receive a lot of updates. Uh, so you can go to settings and scroll down to the software update, tap that, and here download and install. Here tap that, download and install here. Uh, it's one UI7, you may have a lot of uh, updates, not only security patch, patches, but the one UI patches and uh, not newer versions. Here, as you can see, we do have current version, and it's the latest one for today, 27th of August 2025. If you have some uh, troubles with this, um, this may help, because Samsung may broke something in the latest update and they release a quick fix for the performance issue. And uh, apart from that, we can use the light mode, uh, models, modes of our applications. So uh, if you are using, for example, Facebook, install Facebook Lite. If you are using Messenger, install M Messenger Lite. I don't know if it's available now, but I know that it was then. And apart from that, you can turn on the battery saver or light performance mode. Uh, I know that this is on the Samsung S uh, series, but I know, don't know what about the A series. Let's check that. Here, let's go here, and now let's go straight to the battery. Here, as a case, we have something called battery protection, power saving, background usage limits. Let's scroll down, charging settings. You can, as you can see, uh, modify it up, up to you. But here, let's open to power saving. And to have the uh, performance turned on and boost performance, I recommend to turn off the battery saver and enable the light performance mode. This can mean background processes and improve smoothness. After applying these steps, navigate through the home screen and applications, and you can try that you have your lag reduced, actually. As you can see, uh, it should work for us. We don't have this light performance option here. Uh, it's only on the S's, but that's how it works, actually. So, and uh, that's all tips from me. If you have some drawbacks or you can, uh, or you have some tips for other users, you may leave in the leave them in the comments. If you have some drawbacks to my video or you, if you want to give me opinion, give it. I want to make uh, videos better for you. And uh, that's it. I hope your Galaxy 17 feels now better and much faster. Goodbye.